Woke up, told myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock. With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long, think it's time for you to move on. Realize that this real life and these real times will be strong. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes. Watching all this time slip by, now I realize you know what I mean. Time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. But life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff. I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. Have the patience. Watching time fly by might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. Frustrated that I ain't where I want to be yet. But I know that I'm gonna make it if I chase that check. Yes. Cause I done seen a time go by for too many years now when the stars were aligned. Cause I done seen a time go by. Yeah, I done seen the time go by. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes. Watching all this time slip by, now I realize. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes. Watching all this time slip by, now I realize. You know what I mean? Currently, the autoplay blocking thing on Firefox doesn't apply to my channel page. Right, let's get over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> it like autoplayed a bit. Like, on, yeah, like it autoplays the featured video on here, even though it says autoplay is disabled. Whatever. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Also, I always forget to update the stream title until after I start the stream. Every time. So yeah, I've been feeling a little bit sick recently. 
I actually suspected I might have COVID, but uh, I got a COVID test and it came back negative. So it's just a cold or something, I don't know. So that's why I haven't been streaming as much recently. But I think it is time to get RO. So I'm gonna do that today. Probably will be a bit of a shorter stream. Also, it is Easter. So, uh, happy Easter, or whatever. <laughs> I still don't have a gold armor plate. Can you believe it? How many productions have I done? I think there's an achievement for that. Uh, like, uh, achievement. Equipment. Organization. I have produced 314 pieces of equipment, and most of those have been like gold armor plate recipes. So they've had like a 1.3% chance of being that. Plus, like, I've done like 30, no, it would be like 60 specified productions for armor plates that are supposed to have a 3% chance. So... RNG, man. RNG hates me. <laughs> one, one day I will get a gold armor plate. Alright, let's do... Chapter 7. I think it's like 7 6 is where you get R from. And then I'll have two good evasion tanks. That is CMS and RO. Might want to change my echelon 2 for this. Maybe. I mean, it'll probably work. But that is a fairly expensive to run. Second echelon. Hello. Yep, I'm going for a rope. Oh yeah. You know what else I should do is grab a bunch of tokens with the event currency and do more gacha pulls. See if I get any of the like wedding skins from the rerun or whatever. I think I did get both of my dorms up to the regular maximum comfort but they don't necessarily have good set bonuses yet and once I get more dorms I'll want more furniture for that I need to kill a lot of enemies to get gold on this might as well try for that I think that's more enemies that are on the map. Maybe they have to spawn more. Or maybe that is the number of enemies that there are. I'm pretty sure that that uh, image that I used in this stream intro. That is, this one. Is somewhere in this chapter. I think it's like near the end of this chapter in the story. I don't think this is possible. 
At least not with the current setup that I have. So I'll have to try it again to get the gold. I don't think I'm going to go back and try to get all the golds on it right now. Yeah, what is happening in this part of the story? We're just like patrolling or something. Oh yeah, I think I remember the setup for this story. Got a hundred quick repair tickets right now. Uh, well, let's do the what I was talking about with the tokens. I have been farming my event currency every day. In fact, I've already farmed it for today. So, I have 420 tokens of those. Nice. If I want to get 5-7, I might have to do some extra runs, though. Alright, let's get all the tokens. I need this other stuff. I should probably get MBR's equipment. I do have MDR. Um, I don't think any of these other ones are a super high priority. Is that like a base background? Well, I don't think I'm gonna be even be able to buy that. Uh, no, I haven't been using the infinity map at all. I might start doing that, because I think people have said that that is more efficient to do that. I've just been doing the regular six combat mission. The one that existed in the previous iteration of this event. Oh yeah, uh, go to the dorm. Alright, so I have enough for two more... 11 pulls on this. furniture thing. Yeah, I haven't really been farming 5-7 on my main account at all in this event either, because I already have enough 5-7s. I forget how many I have, but it's a bunch. Oh. Isn't that a duplicate? Did I... wait. Do I even have... Wait, should it just give me a logistics or something? No. I thought I saw something else. Coming off on the screen. Uh... 
No, I don't even have her. So, I can't... I mean, I could give the skin to Kalina. But, theoretically, that means I get a black card now. But, uh, those are, like, literally the first two skins that I pulled on this account, and they're duplicates. Uh, I might want to uh, clear out a bunch of G dolls from my storage. I think I have a bunch that I could get rid of. Let's do that. So who is locked and doesn't need to be? Might actually want to raise Makarov. Uh, I don't think I want to raise Astra. Like, Astra is theoretically like, good as a Calico replacement, but, like, only if you don't have Calico, because she's a lot worse. <laughs> and I think there are other alternatives now. Hmm. P30 is, like, super niche. Why what? I think EM2 is pretty good. I haven't actually used her much. Um, I don't think I really want to raise Scorpion. Makarov is actually pretty good if you want a handgun tank. I don't have well rod, so... Like, Makarov is actually, like, kind of comparable to Wellrod. She's not as good, but she's definitely a lot more competitive with Wellrod, for instance, than Astra is with Calico. Like, Calico is way better than Astra. You also can use Makarov and Wellrod together for extra memes, because... They, their, like, accuracy decreases will stack, so the enemies will just be, like, really <laughs> inaccurate if you use both of them. That might not be a very meta strat, but it is something that you can do. those ones. I don't know if I'm gonna raise uh, Ingram. Maybe. Ingram is also pretty good for a three star. Although obviously UMP45 is better. I also don't have UMP-45 yet. Uh, we should go over which handguns I do have. Because I have crafted some more. So, Mark 23 and PPK I have relatively raised. I got K5. K5 would be a good one to raise. And Contender. So... Yeah, those are probably the highest priority ones to raise. 
and then Cola and Makarov are also alternative ones to raise at some point. I have not done much XP farming recently. So, most of the ones that I have raised are ones that I had raised before. Turn six kills. I think if I recall correctly, the way to get the gold medal on this is you have to rush out right away and grab that. Whereas I might otherwise want to deploy a squad and cap a heliport to get two action points, but then you get fewer kills. So this way you get kills faster. Yeah, on the other hand, besides, like, Makarov being a pretty decent Wellrod alternative, Wellrod has also kind of fallen out of the meta, but that's because of other handguns that I don't have either. So, <laughs> for now, Makarov might be one of the best ones that I can put in that off-tank slot for HGRF teams. Kill all the enemies within three turns. Can I do that? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Dubious. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the gold because can't get that one enemy. I also might want to start doing some rifle productions now that I have a decent handgun selection. At least, somewhat decent. Because I don't have that many rifles. So, I looked at my phone, and I have eight five sevens on my other account. So I don't quite have ten, but I think I have enough. Well, I do not have R93. R93 would be a good choice if I had her. But... Um...
Let's see who it would be. I might be able to get 5-7, in which case 5-7 would be the obvious choice for the back center slot. Uh, who do I even have for rifles? M14 is pretty much the only good rifle I have. So I'd probably want to do some more rifle production to get another good rifle. And then, like, obviously Mark 23 is probably going to be in the team. Yeah, we'll see. If I manage to get 5-7, then she would go in the back center. Otherwise, probably Contender would, I guess. Or K5. I don't think I need to kill all the enemies on this map. There's more than six. Yeah, I really like HDRF squads in general, but they do take a lot of investment before they're any good, so that's more of a long-term goal to get a good HDRF squad. are attacking me, making it easier to get my kill quota. I don't think getting enough kills is going to be an issue on this one. Also not yet attacking my command post. So theoretically I can just go for it. As long as I get one kill on the next turn, then I'm good for the kill quota. Also, if I want to do more machine guns, like have a proper MGSG echelon, I should probably raise M2 HP. But I don't know if I want to do that right away because machine guns are expensive. <laughs> Much like in real life. 
especially in the US where you can't get modern machine guns, so the only ones you can get are expensive antiques. Yeah, I might want to, before I focus on HDRF, focus on raising more AR ARs and SMGs. Hmm. I think I used to do core farming on this map, except it wasn't this map, it was the emergency version of this map. Thing. It was like 7-2-E, whereas where I used to do core farming. That was back before they even added 10-4-E. Uh, <laughs> turn here. I have an extra action point, but I don't actually want to use it. Because <laughs> I want my squads to be where they are. If I had a third squad that wasn't on logistics, I could deploy a dummy. Okay, boomer. <laughs> About what? Oh, about me reminiscing about farming cores on this map. Well, on the emergency version. Back in my day. Yeah, I feel like that playing Minecraft now. Because I was playing Minecraft with some, like, college students who haven't been playing that long. <laughs> So I was talking about all the ways that stuff used to work in Minecraft. Back in my day, we didn't have your newfangled uh, scaffolding. We just made dirt pillars. By far my favorite thing that they've done in Minecraft recently is the swimming animation. That's really cool. <laughs> like, most of the other stuff is kind of like, eh, whatever. But the fact that you actually, like, do a swimming animation and your model changes shape as well, that is cool.
キくんご指示を私が休んでも任務をしくじらないでよシキくん Yeah, I think this part of the story we're getting. Well, and in the previous chapter, we're getting into the depression phase of the story. Give me lots of time. That's nice. Yeah, as far as Minecraft changes that I don't like, I especially don't like. The new. Like, basically everything that they did in the combat update, I don't like. Like, having an offhand is nice, but everything else that the combat update did made combat worse, in my opinion. Like, having a wind up on your attacks, and the fast regen. I also don't like how Shulkers and Elytra cannot be farmed. You have to, like, go exploring for them if you want more. Shulker boxes and Elytra are pretty cool, but the fact that you can't farm them makes them a lot less interesting to me. Because I'm all about doing the automatic farming in Minecraft. Cap. All right. Uh, how many kills do I need? Nine. It's a lot of kills. I mean, the story does kind of. Hint at the like depression thing. <laughs> yeah, 1.5 and 1.6, I feel like, was kind of the peak of Minecraft Java Edition. Maybe into like. The, but basically, like, before the combat update, I guess, was all the... my favorite Minecraft editions. 1.5 was when they added, like, the good redstone stuff. And they added hoppers and droppers and comparators and everything. But yeah, the the girl's frontline story being like pretty dark is hinted at at the beginning because you have like literally the opening scene is Agent choking him for. <laughs> I do have to kill all of the enemies, right? I think I have enough time to do it, though.
Yeah, I think the last time I was mainly active in Minecraft was 1.8. And I've done a little bit since then. I did post some videos on YouTube in 1.9, but not that many. And what the current version is like uh, 15 or something. Yeah, well, I was really into redstone and all the technical stuff. One point sixteen is the current version. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since the last time I was mainly active. Finish on this turn and kill the last enemy. There you go. Yeah, but by far the most popular videos on my YouTube channel were in Minecraft 1.8, and they were actually uploaded about a week apart, if I recall correctly. I think I was, like, on break or something. So I, like, cranked out the second video <laughs> by putting in a bunch of work in the week after the first one. Also, uh, fun fact, CMS's skill is like a passive, so like her default passive increases her evasion, but it uh, doesn't take effect while you're moving. So in this upcoming Dreamer fight, there's going to be a lot of time while you're like walking up to Dreamer, and CMS's pa passive is not active while you're moving. Passive abilities are generally only active when your squad is, like, fighting, not when it's moving. So unfortunately, CMS's skill will not increase her evasion while we're walking. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the most popular views videos on my YouTube channel. Let me pause the music so we don't have Chris conflicting mob. things. So this one, August 18th, 2014. Wow, that was a long time ago. And August 7th. Okay, so it was 11 days apart. But yeah, they were pretty close together. And those are by far my two most popular videos. The next one is like... One sixth as many views, and also that is a glitch that was patched since. Though this one, how does this one have so many views? This is like, I guess this one was timed well because it was like right after slime blocks were a thing. I was like, hey, you can make a flying machine with these, and then of course people made way better flying machines since. But that quick and dirty one that I made because it was quick, I guess, got a bunch of views. No, the way CMS's skill works, and most passives in general, is that they only work while you're moving. So you can actually see the effect in combat. 
Uh, we'll wait the 20 seconds for this. Also, music, resume. So, when you, like, go into combat, as soon as you, like, walk up to the enemy, you can see CMS's skill activate, and it has an effect with the ammo above her head when it activates. So, after you move, you sh after, like, you do the start of the Dreamer fight, after you move and reach Dreamer, you should see it activate again, which indicates that it was off while you were moving. Support Echelon. Let's do me. Use my Support Echelon. This map, like whenever I have to farm this for dailies or whatever, I will always use this strategy of using a Support Echelon to avoid getting your command posts around capped. Although doing it this way probably won't give me the gold. I probably have to kill a bunch more enemies to get the gold. Alright, let's see if we can spot that effect of CMS's skill turning off and back on again. Also, we might be able to see it in the... Like, whether or not there's a buff on her. Although, I think the fairy talent is applying a buff in a lot of these cases. Yeah, this time the fairy talent didn't activate. Actually, does it look like you can see the buff effect on CMS? Maybe it doesn't actually count as a buff. Well, you don't really, like, activate CMS's skill unless you want to switch between the modes. But... I think it is only active, so like right now her skill isn't active, and then when we get to combat again, then it should activate again? I don't know, I didn't see it. <laughs> Certainly it does need to activate in the first place. Wow, I had exactly enough SMG health. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the the next chapter's dreamer where you don't actually fight enemies beforehand. Showtime! <laughs> 
Because in that case, definitely CMS doesn't have her passive active until you reach Dreamer. I think that even in this case, it doesn't apply. Maybe it does. It doesn't mention that on, like, the Angry Trap Midget Guide website, but I'm pretty sure that I've heard something about that from the guy who runs that on Reddit. Definitely it isn't active on the next chapter until you reach the enemies, even though it's a passive Yeah, those ones are definitely going to get quick compared. So, I should have RO now, right? Yep. Very nice. Pillow for Satmod too. It would be kind of difficult to test if the passive is active while you're moving because you'd have to do a whole bunch of like experimentation and <laughs> see if the statistics line up with the expected statistics to know if the evasion is taking effect. So, RO is kind of similar to CMS. What? Okay, she's already 5x. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> she's a banana now. It might work while moving if you, like, stop beforehand so that she can activate the skill or activate <laughs> the passive, kind of and then keeps working. Yeah, Aro has a fast initial cooldown evasion skill that also decreases the enemy's damage. So she's another good evasion tank. Especially like the reason, the fact that this has a fast initial cooldown helps a lot because it helps in shorter fights, whereas one like Swomi. Do I have Swomi? I had some. I might have just uh, disassembled. <laughs> I, I think one of the ones that I just had has a similar effect, but they're like super long cooldown. Initial cooldown. Whereas Aro's is much faster. So RO is much better in general than those ones. And then CMS, it's passive. So hers is active at the beginning of the battle. I also probably ought to do some skill upgrades. Probably gonna end the stream pretty soon. Keep it a bit shorter this time. I'm still feeling a bit sick, so. But I can level up some of my SMG skills.
Um, let's look at the ARSMG squad that I could put together now. Because now I have two good main tanks. I really only have one off tank that's raised. That'd be Stun Mark 2. Um, you do... You're also a main tank, although relatively niche. I could use UMP9 as an off tank. Or I could raise Ingram. Ingram could also be a decent off tank. So if I want to put together a second ARSMG squad, I might do that. I don't know if I'm going to use RO instead of CMS on my first squad. I could, just to put the AR team band together. Although, I think that with this particular team, it might be better to have CMS. Although now it's not going to let me change it. <laughs> this team is also not that coherent in general. Because, like, it's got a weird combination in terms of... <laughs> yeah. But I don't really want to raise another three-star Molotov. Well, Sten is actually a grenade, not a Molotov. But yeah, another. I don't want to raise another three-star AOE SMG because like there are better ones. <laughs> well, mostly Vector. Yeah, this team is kind of weird because. Like, SOP2 likes longer fights, whereas the other T dolls in the squad don't necessarily like longer fights. But having the AR team together does have a nice flavor to it, I guess. Why, why is it, like, unevenly spaced now? Is it always like that? No, now it's evenly spaced. I guess when I dragged it around, it somehow got unevenly spaced. Oh yeah, it did it again. Does that happen every time you drag them around? That's gonna drive me crazy now that I see that. It like, doesn't go quite where it was before. Yeah, CMS also, um, has better buff tiles in general. Aro is really good against Dreamer, though. I think she's probably the best tank against Dreamer. Because her firepower reduction debuff can actually make her tank more hits than other SMGs can. And Aro is pretty good in general. So she'll probably be the main tank for one of my squads. What I might do is try to set up a team that is optimized for short fights and a team that is optimized for long fights, just in case I get the option of picking the right one for the job. So, in that case, Aro would be on the short fight team. Sopmod 2 would be on the longer fight team, along with CMS, probably. And then I might put, like, UMP9 on that one as well, because flashbangs are also very good for longer fights. At least longer fights against regular enemies, not bosses.
So if you run into hard enemies, then having like a combination of a flashbang plus a AR grenade could be pretty good. The tile buffs aren't evenly spaced. You mean like the different tiles? I don't know, they look mostly even. Oh, you mean like within the each of these? Like within these, this one, it doesn't look quite even. This one does. But like this line right here is thinner. So it's only the ones in the center row have a thinner line in there. That might just be a quirk of the scaling that they had to cut out some pixels when they scaled it correctly, so it's like one pixel off. I don't know. That is, now that I noticed that, that is pretty <laughs> tilting. Just like the map is tilted now. When they added that thing where the map like tilts, oh, look at Aro's tiles. Yeah, I think in this one that this line is thinner than the others. And that applies to all of these. But like the vertical line on the right is thinner. Yeah. Uh when they added that tilting thing to the map, that definitely made me tilted. Like, where the map, like, tilts when you go into it. I still hate that. It's like... It was better when it just zoomed straight in. I didn't have that tilting. Because, like, all of the characters are still 2D. It just looks like a pop-up book. Like, I would rather just have it be straight up 2D. It would be more immersive than having it tilt. You can see it in the index, too. Uh, wait. Let's go to... Index. It's, like, inconsistent with even every... different iteration of it. And here... I think it is right there, except that when I scroll, you can tell that it like shifts a little bit. So it has to be something with like the scaling of this. So it's either a smaller or larger image that's getting scaled. So sometimes the lines have different numbers of pixels in them, depending on where it's placed. Oh, yep, yep, it landed on a thinner line there. <laughs> well, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm done for now. Uh, I'll probably do another stream in like a couple days or something. Probably won't have such a long gap between streams as I did between the last one. So I'll catch you later.